it is very easy to defeat someone but it is very hard to win someone with this beautiful card let us begin today's biology portions we were dealing with photosynthesis we have completed in the previous video the light reaction okay so again i have just wrote the summary of both the reactions of photosynthesis on one side is the light dependent reaction otherwise called as the light reaction which usually takes place only in the presence of light and where does this light reaction take place the light reaction takes place in the thylakoid or grana of chloroplast both are correct okay thylakoid of chloroplast or grana of chloroplast is the site where the light reaction of photosynthesis takes place now this side is the light independent reaction otherwise it is called as the dark reaction now why is it called as dark reaction it is called as dark reaction because in this particular phase of photosynthesis light is not necessary it doesn't mean that this particular phase is taking place during night okay it simply means that light is not necessary for this particular phase of photosynthesis that is why this is called as light independent reaction otherwise called as dark reaction now in the previous video we have seen that in light reaction what is actually happening the splitting of water molecule is taking place the process is what is called as photolysis okay as a result of which you will be getting oxygen hydrogen and electrons are released hydrogen ions okay and electrons are released the oxygen that is formed by the splitting of water molecule is actually given out now what is actually happening to this h plus ions the hydrogen that is formed by the splitting of water molecules will be actually accepted by nadp we have discussed what is the full form of nadp and all in the previous video so nadp will be getting converted into nadph now the electron is also playing a role in this now the electron is also used for converting adp into energy rich compound atp so all these are actually taking place during light reaction now dark reaction you don't have to learn all these equations simply understand what is actually happening now the conversion of adp into energy rich compound atp by the addition of inorganic phosphate is called as phosphorylation if this is taking place in presence of light it is known as photophosphorylation in the previous video i have discussed all these things now actually what happens is that the hydrogen will be released from nadph this hydrogen will be combining with the carbon dioxide so as to form the glucose so this is actually what is happening during the dark reaction of photosynthesis the glucose formula is written here c6h12o6 so what are the end products of photosynthesis what all things we will get in one of the previous video i have written the equation okay so one end product is oxygen what is the use of oxygen some portion of oxygen will be used by the leaf itself for respiration the process is what is called as photorespiration because this will be taking place in the presence of light but a major portion of oxygen will be actually diffusing out through stomata the minute openings present in the epidermal layer of the leaves and what is actually happening to this oxygen it is this oxygen that is actually used up by all the living organisms for their respiration process so one end product is oxygen some portion is used by the leaf itself for respiration which is what is called as photorespiration but a major portion is actually given out 
for the respiration of all the other living organisms on the earth's surface. Now another important end product is glucose. Now you know what is the use of glucose. You can think glucose will be utilized by the plant itself. But whatever glucose is prepared by the plant is actually not consumed by the plant itself. After consuming the required amount of glucose, the extra glucose will be converted into starch. It will be stored in some parts of the plant body. Okay, so that is the fate of glucose. Another end product is water. Now what is the use of this water? Water is again used for carrying out again photosynthesis by the plant body. Okay, so all these are the three end products of photosynthesis. One is oxygen which is actually given out for respiration by all the living organisms. Okay, whatever oxygen is given out by the plant will be used up by all the living organisms for respiration process. Another end product is glucose which the plant itself will be using and later the extra glucose will be converted into starch. Another end product is water which again the plant will be utilizing it for carrying out photosynthesis. So all these are the end products of photosynthesis. I hope the dark reaction and the light reaction of photosynthesis is clear to you. Light reaction it is taking place in the thylakoid or grana of chloroplast. You have to just remember about photolysis and photophosphorylation or simply phosphorylation. Dark reaction is nothing but it is actually taking place in the stroma of chloroplast. And here what is actually happening? The hydrogen that is formed from NADPH will be combining with carbon dioxide so as to produce glucose. You don't have to remember all these equations, just understand the concept. Moving to an important topic in this particular chapter that is experiments based on photosynthesis process. After that we will see the factors affecting photosynthesis. Okay, so let us just first learn about the experiments. In all the experiments there is one common step. So we will see what it is. Okay. You will come across a term called as destarching. What is the meaning of destarching? D means something is removed. So destarching means it is the removal of starch from the leaves to storage organs by placing the plant in a dark room for one or two days. Okay, so what is destarching? Destarching is the process by which the starch present in the leaves is removed to storage organs by placing the plant in a dark room for one to two days. The process is what is called as destarching. This can sometimes come for the board exam. Okay, so actually what is destarching? Destarching means what you have to do is you have to take a well watered potted plant. Keep this well watered potted plant in a totally dark room. Make sure that even through a pinhole, light should not enter into that room. So totally dark room, we have to place this potted plant for one or two days. That means 24 to 48 hours. When we are placing this plant in a dark room for 24 to 48 hours, what is actually happening to the plant? Whatever starch is present in the leaves will be actually removed to the storage organs. That means we are actually making sure that the leaf is not carrying out any photosynthesis process. We have to show that again the leaf can carry out photosynthesis. So when we are keeping this plant in a dark room, all the starch that is present in the leaves will be removed to storage organs. This process is what is called as destarching. 
related to this destarching it is actually actually the name is starch test otherwise called as iodine test okay iodine test this is the formula i2 iodine test or starch test so what is iodine test or starch test what we have to do is i told you the first step we are actually placing this potted plant in a dark room for 1 to 2 days that is for destarching process after this what we have to do so that there is no starch present in the leaves after this take the same potted plant and place it in sunlight for few hours so when we are placing this plant in sunlight for few hours what is actually happening the leaves will begin to carry out photosynthesis okay so freshly the leaves is actually carrying out photosynthesis now after few hours say 2 or 3 hours pluck out one leaf okay i'm showing that pluck out one leaf and we are having that leaf here we are having that leaf that is plucked out keep it in a beaker containing boiling water so actually what is the purpose of this just dip the leaves in boiling water for few seconds or say for few minutes by the time you can see that the leaf will be becoming soft so what is actually the purpose of dipping the leaf in boiling water so first step is dip in boiling water what is the purpose of this this is to kill the cells okay so we are dipping the leaf in boiling water to kill the cells that is the first step now what we have to do is now all the cells of the leaves is dead now take out the same leaf now we are having a test tube containing methylated spirit okay it is known as methylated spirit or methyl alcohol both are same okay methylated spirit or methyl alcohol what you have to do we are having this leaf that is placed in boiling water what was the purpose of placing the leaf in boiling water that is to kill the cells such a leaf is taken it is introduced into this test tube containing methylated spirit now you cannot directly heat this test tube containing methylated spirit because this will catch up fire so what you have to do is we are indirectly heating this test tube containing methylated spirit by placing this in a beaker containing boiling water okay so this is a beaker containing boiling water so i hope it is clear to everyone so we are having a test tube with the same leaf that is placed in it we cannot directly heat it because it is methylated spirit it will catch up fire so we are placing this in a beaker containing water and we are actually indirectly heating the methylated spirit we will be able to see that the leaf will be turning pale in color that means the leaves green color will be lost it will become somewhat colorless okay till that time we have to continue the heating process this is actually having a name this is actually a method called as double boiling double boiling means we are indirectly boiling this particular test tube the contents present in the test tube okay so what will happen is that the leaf will turn pale in color or it will become colorless so what is the purpose of boiling in methylated spirit so second step is boiling in methylated spirit or methyl alcohol i am writing here methyl alcohol that for what purpose this is to remove chlorophyll okay so to remove chlorophyll we are boiling the leaf in methyl alcohol or methylated spirit now what you have to do is take this leaf dip again in this boiling water okay already the water is hot dip it in boiling water so that the leaf will become soft 
Otherwise, when we are boiling it in methylated spirit, the leaf is actually somewhat brittle. Okay, so in order to make the leaf again soft, again what you have to do? Again take it out and dip it in boiling water. Then what you have to do is, take one tie, spread the leaf on it. The leaf will not have that proper shape and all, because we have done all these procedures. Spread the leaf on the tie. Then add one or two drops of iodine to this leaf. So what will be your observation? I already told that first we have actually placed the potted plant in a dark room. Then we placed this potted plant in sunlight for few hours. So as we have placed the potted plant in sunlight for few hours, the plant actually started photosynthesis. That means the leaf will be containing starch because we have placed the plant in sunlight for few hours after de-starching. So what will be your observation? If starch is present when iodine is added, the leaf will turn blue-black in color. Okay, this is the conclusion of iodine test, otherwise called as starch test. Now imagine that you have placed the potted plant in a dark room. Directly we are plucking one leaf. We are not placing that potted plant in sunlight. Okay, after placing the potted plant in dark room for two days, we are plucking one leaf and we are carrying out all these procedures. So what will be the condition of the leaf? You know that when we place the potted plant in a dark room, the leaf will not carry out photosynthesis. So all the, all the starch that was present in the leaves will be removed into storage organs. So the leaf will not show the presence of starch. So in that case, what will be the color of this leaf when iron is added? In that case, if starch is not present, the leaf will be showing brown color. Okay, so blue black if starch is present. Brown if there is no starch. So this experiment is what is called as starch test otherwise iodine test. So just recalling the starching is the process of removal of starch from the leaves to storage organs by placing the potted plant in a dark room for one to two days. Then what are the important steps? First is after placing this potted plant in a dark room, we have to place this in sunlight for few hours. Then pluck any one leaf and carry out these steps. First is dipping in boiling water that is to kill the cells of the leaves. Then take the same leaf and dip it in methylated spirit. Test tube containing methylated spirit and indirectly boil it till it becomes somewhat pale in color. That is actually to remove chlorophyll. Again dip this leaf and dip it in boiling water to make the leaf soft. After that, place it on a white tile. Then add one or two drops of iodine. If the color is blue-black, then it will show the presence of starch. If the leaf is not having starch, it will show brown coloration. So this is what is known as iodine test or starch test. I hope this experiment is clear to everyone. Let us recall End products of photosynthesis There are three end products of photosynthesis Glucose which is used in four different ways by the plant Immediately consumed by the plant cells It can be stored in the form of insoluble starch It is converted into sucrose it is used in synthesizing fats, proteins, etc. The second end product of photosynthesis is water. The water produced in the process may be reutilized in the continuation of photosynthesis. The third end product of photosynthesis is oxygen. You know the importance of oxygen. It is the oxygen gas that is actually needed for respiration by all the living organisms. Experiments on Photosynthesis These starching experiment 
what is destarching a destarched plant is one whose leaves are free from starch destarching is the process of removal of starch from the leaves by placing the plant in a dark room for 1 to 2 days steps in carrying out the starch test or the iodine test dip the leaf in boiling water for a minute this is to kill the cells boil the leaf in methylated spirit over a water bath till it becomes pale white this is due to the removal of chlorophyll again place the leaf in hot water to soften it spread the leaf on a tile then pour one or two drops of iodine the presence of starch will be indicated by a blue black color if starch is absent the leaf will show brown coloration please do subscribe biodigest like and share thank you